It's almost sunrise here in Colorado, getting ready to break camp, headed north to find the eclipse, probably somewhere in Wyoming. Current situation. This isn't something you see every day in camp. I heard a sound and I saw a big black object and I thought it was a bear sneaking up on me. But then I heard more hooves and more snorting. I'm not sure where these guys came from. So, uh, but they look, they look pretty friendly. I believe that one might be a bull. So I just stopped to eat a little breakfast. See, I get along with everybody. Uh, there's my camera gear that I'm getting ready to load up to take to Wyoming to shoot the eclipse. And then right over here, we have Daddy, who's sitting here close, keeping an eye on me. He's chewing his cud, so he's enjoying his lunch. And then back in the shade, Mama Cow with a nursing calf. So I've been seeing a stock truck drive up and down here. So that's very interesting that someone would uh, drive their cattle up here, drop them off to graze. So I'm not sure who's grazing their cattle up here on BLM land. Uh, maybe that Bundy fellow. I'm breaking camp right now because I got to get north to chase the eclipse. situation that's the setting sun I just arrived in Wyoming <clears throat> I'm on my way to Gray Rocks Reservoir I got another hour uh, at least another hour to go so with the Sun on the horizon now that means it'll be dark when I'm setting up my site it also means I'll be searching for my site in the dark these roads are rough I don't know where I'm going I know kitty I know we're gonna find a spot. Okay, Sunday morning, August 20th, I'm camped at Glendo Lake, right in the projected path of totality. Camped right here next to this bluff, and the lake is right down there. Let's go down and take a look at the lake. Sinking, sinking in. If I'm sinking in, that means my tripod will sink in. I wonder how stable it is down here. This is a little bit rockier right here, and perhaps a little more stable. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to shoot right here. I think this is my spot. I'm camped way, way, way up there. So I will need to backpack everything down here early tomorrow. It's absolutely clear this morning. Not a single cloud in the sky. If it's this way 24 hours from now, we'll be in good shape. Well, today's the big day, the Great American Eclipse 2017. I did not sleep at all last night. Vehicles just coming down my dirt road here all night long, thousands of them. They're still coming, they're still coming, they're still coming. More, more, more of them, all night long. Headlights dancing around inside my vehicle, noise. There are thousands and thousands of people parked down there in a field, but you know, I knew what I was getting into when I came here. People are beginning to assemble on this bluff up here to watch the eclipse. I'm going to go down by the lake. I'm going to have about five or six, maybe seven cameras running. Video cameras, still cameras. I'll be shooting time lapse. I'll be shooting action cam. So I'm going to be very busy for two minutes and 47 seconds. The Great American Eclipse 2017. Okay, I'm going to get this collar on you here. Can you tell me if it's too tight? Okay, baby, you know I always have your best interest at heart. Sorry to put this on you. You shouldn't roam too far. Somebody will try to take you. Some cute girls just pulled up in a car next door. They would put you in their car and take you home with them. See, now you have an identity and a phone number. Traveling Tuesday, call or text, and my phone number. So you look like an interesting guy. What kind of plans you got for the eclipse? Gonna do drum and water ceremony. Where are you gonna do it? I'm um, gonna try to get as close as I can to this peninsula up here and try to just be like overlooking the water as much as I can. Awesome. How are y'all doing? Hey, buddy. I'm gonna be shooting too. Those are my tripods down there. Yeah. I was wondering if I'm in your way, if I'm on those rocks right there. Oh, just, not just, at all, buddy. Good? Okay. 
Okay, I've set my tripods up there. Now I've got to hike all the way back to my camp, which is about a mile down the shoreline here. Get my camera bags and cameras. That's awesome, man. Can I take a picture of it? Yeah. Cool. Maybe give up on that last one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give up. Uh, he's gonna make it as tall as you are. Wouldn't mind a bit. I, I used to be a family portrait photographer. <laughs> And uh, old habits, I gotta get the good angle here. Look up a little bit. Okay, I gotta get the reflection in the glasses. Ed, look to your left a little bit. To your right a little bit. Okay, uh, down a little bit. Now, you guys don't move. Okay, where do I send the invoice? Okay, you're so kind. There Thank you go. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Have a nice eclipse. You bet. Here's my camp. All right, time to pick up some camera bags and head back down to the lake. Can I see it? Oh. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Am I missing anything? Uh, not too much right now. It's not a quarter of the way through. Eclipses are for lovers. <laughs> Enjoy, Thanks. you two. Okay, I like this now. Yeah. Very good. Right? Are you providing him with a little shade, keeping him cool? <laughs> I think she's doing it incidentally, but like I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you know, eclipses are for lovers. <laughs> you, you two enjoy. Okay, just double check and I'm good right there. Solid buddy. Okay. Okay, it's already starting to feel strange out here because it's sunny, there's not a cloud in the sky, and yet the quality of light is beginning to feel different. The sun is cooler on my skin, the breeze is cooler, and that's because the moon is now impinging on the sun. We are still several minutes away from totality, but it's beginning to feel strange out here. Very, very sunny, not a cloud in the sky, but cool. And that was an interesting feeling the moment I realized that that was happening. Why does it feel like a, such a cool, cloudy day out here and there's not a cloud not in the sky? I know, right? It's a, I don't know, yeah, it, it's definitely a lot. Oh, look at your shadow, man. See, yeah, see, how the, see how the shadows look different? Yeah. How cool. What a, what a cool it's almost experience. like distorted, kind of. Sh yeah. Shadows are not as sharp. No, you're totally right. We're all out of focus. It's got to mess with us a little bit. <laughs> like our yeah, equilibrium know, right? or something? It's messing with our heads? Yeah. Well, what about those geese that just flew over? Yeah, that's kind of yeah, weird. Yeah, that was weird. I was like, are they going south for the winter now? They think they the think sun's going away? The sun's got no warming power now. It's awesome how like the light has changed completely. Yeah. Within like, just like, it was like that. I was like, but man. Even yeah. since we've been talking, it's gotten a little. Right. 1144. <laughs> 1144. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm in an eclipse. disappeared it's gone it's gone it's gone
much to look at. You want to watch yeah, the, the sun and the moon, but right. like the sky right. over there was just getting dark. Yeah. So you want to look at it all and yeah. you have two minutes to take yeah. it all in, yeah. you know? <laughs> I actually I was pretty impressed at how uh, you could see the lines running on the on the sand. Well, I didn't see that. Yeah, there was like what would people think thousands of years ago? They would freak out. They, they would think, oh, this is the gods, and you know this yeah. that, and like end of the world. Hey, what did I do wrong? You know that I caused the sun to go uh, away. Yeah. You know? yeah. Did we worship the wrong way? Did we make the yeah. right sacrifice? Did we do this right? You know, are we being punished? Yeah. Yeah. They they wouldn't. They no idea. Right. I mean, they were they were they were intelligent in their own respect, but to have figured out exactly what caused it. Yeah it would have been a little different. Yeah. yeah.